All right, well, I haven't made a video in a while, so I thought I would put something together at least uh, so you guys, you know, if you're watching, if anybody's watching, you got something to look at. Okay, right here, I am working on my chandelier. It's my second chandelier that I bought because I like this one better. It's got these candles here. These clear wires, which look like, hell, they look like uh, speaker wire, are coming out of the top. So this chandelier came wired for 110. I have a battery off camera here that you can't see. Well, I mean, it's not like I'm going to show you anything new. If I am going to show you something new, then great. But let me show you what I'm doing here. I can't... Okay. I do these one at a time here. Right. So these slide off, right? So take... Here you got 110. Of course, it's not plugged in. If it is plugged in, you should unplug the damn thing. Okay. Cut the wires, right? Bend it over. Well, the reason why I'm doing this, you think it would, you would think that it would unscrew, but so much is ain't coming undone. So, I am throw that crap away. Okay. I know a lot of people get all fancy with the uh, wire strippers. Not me. Ooh, a little warm. Watch it, it does get a little warm. It is fire after all. So. Lighthouse LEDs, we've already gone over that. Hell, everybody's done the LED PVC candle. The cool thing is, it's got candles already. We're just gonna call them candles. We're not gonna call them fake candles. That's too much work. Now I'm just going to twist them together for right now. Now I have already got everything else wired up. I'm double checking to make sure I don't have anything touching metal. Oh yeah. I forgot what I was doing. I forgot where I was at. You ready? Can you see it? See it? Okay. The reason why I am going through every one and double checking everything is because AC is alternating current. Now I don't understand it, but the way it was explained to me one time was it's constantly switching sides. With that said, I still feel like I gotta test it. There's the black and there's the white. Now these might be switched inside that somewhere. So that's the reason why I'm testing every one of them. I'm going to a solder. I like to solder. I'm not very good at it. I know that's supposed to get hot. And that's supposed to melt. Ooh, there she goes. I bought a 30 watt pin. And you know, I don't know if it was me. But it didn't do that. That's for damn sure. Damn sure. This is 180 watt that you get at Harbor Freight. My brother said it would be overkill. I told him, I said, good, because that's what I like. Overkill. Okay, see? That worked out fine. It's not coming undone. So all I gotta do is shrink wrap it, and we's good. Now, the end of my wires are right about there. I've got about a half inch extra, because I want that extra to make sure that it doesn't poke out. You hear that? That's my mama getting onto one of the animals. Now I have no idea what this is going to look like through this. Okay. Can you see that? I don't know why we say hot melt because if it's melting, it's hot. I want to take my LED. See if you can see here a little bit. I'm going to weld upside down. Weld. I'm going to glue it upside down. That's nah, not happening, Captain. I did say this is an experiment, right? I don't know if you can see that or not. It's moving around because it's still hot. Okay. What I plan to do is take my finger, 
touch it. Okay, I've touched it and dragged it up to make a point. I'm going to let it dry. If I had some help, I'd have someone spray that with cold water. All right. Now, let me bring this to you a little bit closer. You see that? All right. Everybody's talking about making these PVC candles and hiding the bulb. Well, I don't want to have to hide the bulb. Here's my shirt. That light is going through that hot glue. Let me see here. Take my sock cuts. It's probably melted down enough. You see that? The glue itself looks like a little flicker flame now. See it flickering? The sharp, the sharp LED is right down here. But the, the flame is right up here. Now, like I said, all I did is took some hot glue gun, some hot glue, took some hot glue, put on the end of it, and let it cool, and rotated it around to where it's centered. And when it stops moving around, I just took my finger, tapped to the end of it, and pulled it up to make that. Bring it here. See that? Focus. Focus. It won't focus me.